Hi, this is your old pal, Uncle Phil. Life is serious and life is severe, and to be good, upright citizens, we too must be serious and severe. We have neither the need nor the time for tomfoolery, merriment, or jocularity. And yet there are those among us, scallywags, merry andrews, and jackanapes, who would recklessly attempt to inject humor into our lives. And they usually attempt this mischief through the telling of jokes. My mission is to have jokes abolished because they are unnecessary and above all because jokes are not funny. I have irrefutable proof that jokes are not funny. I shall demonstrate this by relating a joke to you for educational purposes only. And thus I present the joke of King Arthur, his knights, Lady Guinevere, and the chastity belt. As King of the Britons, King Arthur had responsibility not only to his own subjects, but to make embassages and campaigns and quests in lands far, far away. The king always worried that during his absence, his knights of the round table were having their way with his wife and queen, Lady Guinevere. In order to prevent this from happening, the king called upon his finest and most creative blacksmith and he asked his blacksmith to create for him a chastity belt. A few days later, the blacksmith returned with his creation. Upon examining it, the king exclaimed, Why, this is no good at all. This, this chastity belt has a hole in it, right where there shouldn't be one. To which the blacksmith replied, Ah, yes, sire, but if you look very closely, you will see that that hole is lined with razor-sharp blades, which will do terrible damage to any man who tries to take advantage of your good lady wife. So the king put the chastity belt on his wife and rode off on one of his quests. Upon his return, the king lined up his knights of the round table and examined them. And sure enough, each of his knights was horribly damaged. All of his knights, that is, except Sir Lancelot. The king exclaimed to Lancelot, Ah, Lancelot, you are my most trusted knight. To which Lancelot replied, hur, 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 hur. Thus ends the joke. As you can see, this joke was not funny. It was a perfectly natural story about a king who wished to, to preserve the virtue of his good lady wife. And all of his knights were scoundrels except for one. What isn't explained by this joke is why did Lancelot have this speech impediment? I mean, you'd think something happened to his tongue or something. So, please join me in my campaign for the banishment of enjoyment, delight, humor, and above all, jokes. I'm your old pal, Uncle Phil, and as you've just seen, jokes are not funny. <laughs> <laughs>